So, bros, welcome to the Star Life and welcome to a thrift haul. This is not a trip to the thrift. Most of the items that I'm showing off today are items that I acquired while I did not have my camera on me. However, you might have seen these on my Snapchat. If you do not follow me on Snapchat, change that. My Snapchat is at the Star Life. I will leave that somewhere on the screen and in the description below along with the link to all my other social networks. The most important social network that you follow me on, of course, is my Instagram because my Instagram feed is dope as fuck. I got a little eye bugger going on. Hate those things. I'll probably do more thrift hauls in the future. I'll still do trips to the thrift, but I will be visiting thrifts more often without my camera. So if you want to see that, make sure you follow me on Snapchat, like I said. Anyways, I got a bunch of yoga flame to show off today. So let's get into it. Skrr! Hold up, I forgot to mention one thing. I'm not gonna close my window for this, so I apologize ahead of time that the audio is infiltrated. However, basically the thing that I forgot to mention is that any of these items, or most of these items, or all of these items actually, will be up for sale at hfv.bigcartel.com. So I will leave a link to that in the description below, along with the link to the Instagram for HFV, which is HFV official. I might mention it later on in the video, but basically I am editing the video right now, and I just got to this part and realized that I did not mention it before I shut off the clothes, so I just wanted to mention that real quick. Go check out hfv.bigcartel.com bigcartel.com and check out the official Instagram and someone is playing their music outside. Anyways, let's get into this yoga play. First piece is from the homie camera, which is this diamond tee. As you can see, it's that Coke white colorway right there. It is a little bit older, so yes, it is a little bit faded. I would say the condition is probably a solid like 7.8 out of 10, but I know how you guys love your diamond and it's kind of a cool colorway with the uh, Tiffany green going on right there. Next up, we have this really dope Huff tee right here. Super sick Huff dirt bag crew worldwide quality shit that was also from Cameron. I believe I found this at the Value Village. This is a Chicago Bears tee, really dope, really clean. I figured I had to pick this up for any Chicago Bears fans. This piece is fucking nuts. This is a sick ass band tee. This is a Metallica band tee. As you see, Metallica! It's got this crazy graphic on the front and then on the back, it has some lyrics right there. Super fucking dope, definitely a sick tee. I actually got this for my personal. I didn't really want to let it go. However, my band tee, collection is quite extensive and I have a bunch of them so I figured I would pass this one on to you guys. Then we have some Chicago Blackhawk action going on. Super fucking dope. Huge graphic on the front. Now this piece I thrifted and I wasn't quite sure if you guys would appreciate it but it is a super dope clean essential t-shirt. This thing is in like pristine condition. It's got a drop back little split hem so you know it's high fashion as fuck. This is from BDG which is an Urban Outfitters brand. Definitely a dope piece. Stuff like this I'm always hesitant to cop because if you just look at the design, it may just be a normal t-shirt to you, but obviously when you come across t-shirts that have special cuts or drop backs that are elongated, then those are like really dope items to come across in the thrifts. Other dope items that I love coming across in the thrifts is streetwear. Of course, I found this in the thrift store, Crooks and Castles. You got the luxury boxes right there. And then you got the AK lampstands. That's kind of hard. I actually kind of want one of those. Always fucking nice to find streetwear in the thrifts. I actually used to love Crooks and Castles so much back in the day. I remember one of my favorite hats was this like turquoise hat with a six shooter on it. Now this next piece is super fucking sick. Actually, Cameron got this for me. He saw it at Value Village and he swooped it up for me. And then of course I paid him for it. But yeah, super dope. 10 deep hoodie, super fucking sick. Truth hurts, lies kill, super dope. You got the double zipper right here so you can zip up or you can zip down. You have some mesh lining on the hood. You got the 10 deep tag right there, 10 deep tag right there. Front and back action and of course on the back and the front right there you also have the 10 deep tag. They just be tagging their items the fuck up. I love finding 10 deep in the thrifts, you guys know that. Now this piece was sick as well, more fucking streetwear. I'm telling y'all undefeated in the fucking thrifts. This is like an undefeated bomber, you have the undefeated logo right there. And of course you have this zipper with this like little leather thing right there, YKK zip, size large, super fucking dope, herringbone pattern, all the way down this bitch. Super fucking sick to find undefeated in the thrifts. Then we have this super clean Adidas jacket. Really clean, black, lightweight Adidas embroidery right there on the breastuses and the stripes going down the sleeves. Now this was actually found by the homie Blake and he just hit me up and said, yo, do you want this? And I said, yes, of course. So I paid him for it. But yeah, really, really dope. Polo by Ralph Lauren Vintage Bomber. You got that vintage coating perp right there with the grass green collar. Super fucking dope. Definitely a clean piece to find. As soon as he said this to me, I was like, yo, I fucking need this. Now, me, Madre, knows I love FUBU. She knows that I've liked FUBU for quite some time now, just because when I was a young lad growing up in the neighborhood, I used to watch my brother wear FUBU, so obviously I always looked up to him. I think I've explained this before, but that's why I liked FUBU growing up, and that's kind of why I will always have like a respect for FUBU, even though a lot of the stuff that they do is kind of corny. I would say like 50% of the stuff that they've done is corny, but they do have some dope pieces that you can rock and style to fit a certain aesthetic today. And she got me three Fubu Fuego items today to show off. And uh, she got me this jersey right here, 
FUBU Flame, as you can see, FUBU, in between the stars, because as you guys know, FUBU was always living the star life, 92, 92, super fucking dope, original 05 champion, super fucking sick, jersey, this piece, fucking insane, thread count out the ash, you got FUBU 05 on the front, you got that super sick lemon lime sprite colorway, then this knitted FUBU sweater is so fucking ill, check this shit out. You got FUBU right there embroidered on the front, and then you got FUBU Sports embroidered on the back. I'm not sure if this will sell just because it's such a large size. It's triple X, so it's a extremely large size and it might not sell, but it's super fucking dope. FUBU Sports embroidered on the sleeve right there. Overall, this piece is so fucking sick, but of course, as soon as she let me know that she saw some FUBU, I said, yo, copy. Now, some of these pieces were from the Blake Donation. We got this varsity jacket right here. It's a uh, ODE League, and then you have this tiger embroidery right there, just super clean varsity jacket. This crew jacket is fucking sick. Definitely super dope. I would definitely recommend picking this up. I basically thought about keeping this piece because it was just such a clean, fucking simple piece. But yeah, you got the zipper right here. It's a little bit off to the right, and then you have these buttons going down it. Super fucking dope. High fashion as fuck. Yo, Loki, I just found my pomade. And I was looking for my pomade before I shot this video because my hair was fucked up and I had to use a different kind of gel, but I just accidentally knocked it off my fucking uh, computer desk and now I found it, so that's kind of dope. Whoop. Then we have another super clean black and ox blood color varsity jacket. You got the ox blood sleeves with the ox blood accents going on around the neckline and bottom ribbing region. But yeah, overall really dope clean varsity jacket. You can make this extra dope if you turn this into a project and patch this bitch up because it's a super dope colorway. All right, I found this in the thrift actually just the other day, super clean. Chaps Ralph Lauren jacket right here, super fucking dope. You got the Chaps Ralph Lauren logo, so you got the C with the RL in there. And then on the inside, of course, Chaps Ralph Lauren. Just super dope colorway, all red, definitely a must top. Now this piece will probably not be up on the site. I might get rid of it just because I honestly do not need any button ups, but this piece was so fucking sick. I actually copped this for my personal. I paid more than I would normally pay for a button up, but like I said, I just, this piece was just so fucking sick. Anyways, it's this Cabela's button up. It's in this khaki colorway. You have this orange little thing that goes right here, and then you have some orange action going on down the sleeves. As you can see, some major cut and sew action, super fucking dope. I don't normally wear orange, but this piece was just so dope that I had to scoop it. <laughs> shake Junt, Shake Junt. Super dope fucking piece from Shake Junt. I was never into skateboarding, I used to be into BMX when I was a kid, but I fucking love the Shake Junt videos. That shit's just so fucking ratchet. But yeah, really fucking dope button up from Shake Junt. I actually found this at Plato's Closet, so you know I paid a little bit of a tax price, but I figured you guys would like this thing. It's super fucking dope, and it's from Shake John. So next up, we have this Pendleton flannel, super fucking dope colorway. You got like a white and navy blue colorway, super clean. As you can see, Pendleton right there. Like I've said before, Pendleton is quality, and I'm telling you that shit's fucking expensive. I will leave a link to how much Pendleton flannels cost in the description on HFV, so you guys can kind of compare the price points. Do not buy it brand new. You can find it used for a lot cheaper. Next up is another piece from Blake, which is this hundreds flannel, super fucking dope. And what's kind of cool about this flannel is if you look on the back, it's got this like sewn in stripe going all the way down the back, which I think is kind of sick. And then you have this kind of like, I don't know, life support fucking stitching going across. Kind of a cool little design actually. Super clean, short sleeve, perfect for the summertime. Shout out to Blake for giving this to me, super fucking dope. I believe this is the last piece that Blake gave me, which is this Rocksmith Ninjas baseball tee. It's a three quarter sleeve, super dope. As you can see, warning, Rocksmith explicit content. Rocksmith does a lot of really dope hip hop collabs too. They do a lot of like tributes to Notorious B.I.G. or Wu-Tang or Snoop Dogg or just kind of old like 90s rap artists. Now these last three pieces are all fucking heaters. And the first piece is this really dope Stussy tee. It's just a super simple, clean, essential orange tee. And it's got the Stussy tag right there. Super dope to find this in the thrifts. I always love finding Stussy or just really streetwear in general in the thrifts. Now this next piece is super fucking dope. I never really know whether to cop soccer jerseys because I don't really know if they're worth anything and I don't know much about soccer. But as you guys know, Paul knows a lot about that shit. So whenever I see a soccer jersey that I think is super dope or I think looks cool, I usually send him a picture and say, yo, is this worth anything? Yada, yada, yada. And he told me to definitely scoop this piece right here, which is his Umbro. England jersey. Look at that detailing. Look at that shit. Come on, focus. Yeah. Super fucking dope. And the last heater of today is this brand new with tags 5'4 trench coat. Super clean essential piece. You guys know I always try to keep you looking high fashion as fuck, so I had to swoop this up. Now, this was a little bit more than what I would normally pay to resale because normally if the margins aren't enough after we pay taxes, it basically just barely breaks even or we don't make enough money if we don't kind of keep that in mind when we buy something or purchase something. So I actually got this at a price where I'll probably not make very much money off of it at all, but 
Um, I just had to cop this because I like basically giving you guys items that are really dope essential items that will go great with your wardrobe and are just kind of essential pieces that will last forever. And this is just that. Really, really dope. 5'4 trench coat, like I said clean fucking piece. I would probably keep this for myself. However, I already have a Tommy Hilfiger trench coat that looks very similar, so there's really no point. But yeah, really, really dope colorway. Definitely a clean piece for the collection. Skrr! I lied. Actually, that was not the last piece. These are the last pieces. I just found them. I got these from Plato's Closet, actually, so you know I paid a little bit more than I should have. Kind of like that piece, but once again, these are items that I just really thought you guys would fuck with, so I decided to cop them and risk it anyways. In worst case scenario, I can find someone that would look super dope in this, like one of the homies, or I can keep the other piece from my personal collection. But the first piece is probably the dopest Nike varsity jacket I've ever seen in my fucking life. This piece is fucking crazy, and it's this black on black Nike varsity jacket. As you can see, you got the little waterproof zipper right there. Right here it says A Selecio, Celestio, I don't fucking know, with a little Roman numeral in Old English. On this sleeve you have a uh, Canarino, whatever that says with a C. Definitely a cool little varsity patch. And then on this sleeve you have another little patch thing going on right here where it says Canarino, whatever the fuck that is with the crossed axes. Super fucking dope. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like you guys can see it all right. Anyways, and then on the back, you have this right here where once again, it says that name I can't pronounce, some other shit I can't pronounce, and then it says De Morte, and then once again, it says A Celestio, whatever the fuck that is, but all embroidered, super fucking dope. Definitely the dopest Nike varsity jacket I've ever seen in my fucking life. This thing is super fucking ill. It kind of reminds me of like born and raised shit, but on a Nike varsity jacket. It's so fucking dope. And the last piece is 10 deep and it's a size medium, so if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it for my personal, but super fucking dope. It's this track jacket right here, super fucking clean. And right now you guys might just think it's a normal track jacket, but wait till I flip it around. But I'm just gonna show you guys the front right now because I don't want you guys to have a heart attack and get overly excited. But yeah, super dope little stripes going on the sleeves like the Adidas jackets have. You have the embroidery going on the breast right here. Over here you have the deep X thing embroidered, so you got the X, D, E, E, P, and then on the back, actually before I get to the back, I just want you guys to notice the zipper. The zipper is super fucking dope. You kind of have like these white lines going down, and it just looks really fucking sick, but the back is where some of you guys might actually have a heart attack because it's so fucking sick, but BAM! Look at that bitch right there. Super fucking dope. Tons of embroidery. Look at all that shit. All of that is embroidered. Definitely a dope ass fucking piece. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, fuck, I need to cop this. Because like I said, worst case scenario, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it for my personal. Super fucking dope piece. And now, that is it for the thrift haul. If you want to cop any of these items, make sure you check out hfv.bigcartel.com. That will currently be on the screen along with the Instagram, which is hfvofficial. I will leave a link to both of those in the description below as well. The stuff on the website sells out pretty quickly, so I would definitely recommend if you see any of these items that you wanted and you did not have the ability to get your hands on, I would follow the Instagram because we try to post on Instagram whenever we post items to the site, but this stuff sells out really quickly, so make sure you stay up to date on the website, bookmark it, whatever you need to do, and make sure you follow the Instagram. And of course, make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. That will be on the screen along with the link to that in the description below along with the link to all my other social networks. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like this thrift haul. If you guys want to see more thrift hauls, let me know. And as always, keep living the star life. Mission for the land of milk and honey, so the funny how to see change. But new roads bring new scars. We duck your dodge out a hoopla. Push it to the limit, going too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me that life is alone.